will rule the lanes tonight. Missy Parkin starts off with a crowd, but two other bowlers want it for themselves. Legend Liz Johnson and Ashley Galante. Those stars will square off with a chance to throw Missy. It's the PBA King of the Lanes, Empress Edition, presented by Pass Blue Ribbon. Next. Great, just wait for tonight. We're back at Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine, where the most energetic, the most creative fans in all bowling are here and ready to make some more noise. Hundreds are on hand as we continue the first ever PBA King of the Lanes Empress Edition, presented by Pat's Blue Ribbon. The best bowlers of the PWBA Tour are here competing for the crown. In our fourth Emperor show, Missy Parkin starts his royalty show. Wait and watch from the throne as legend Liz Johnson, the Hall of Famer with 25 career titles, takes on the talented Ashley Galante. Welcome, bowling fans. They're back. They're back for night two of our great bowling from here at Bopo. Bayside Bowl, Portland, Maine. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson, joined by Kimberly Dressler in a moment. Listen to these. Great fans. I can't here. hear you, Dave. Come on. I can't hear you. That's great. What an atmosphere yesterday and last night. There was National Lobster Day. It was the only thing that was great. Uh, I'll tell you what, the bowling was fantastic. But what really made last night was these fans and a sense of normalcy again out here on the PBA tour. I mean, listen to this. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, I thought all the women did a great job on last night's telecast. Daria was phenomenal, but she ran into a freight train in that Empress match against Missy Parkin. Daria appeared over three different shows, but eventually fell to Missy. Yeah, and it was all about this big split that she made, the 3, 6, 7, 9, 10. If she doesn't make that, she doesn't win. But she finished real strong in the 10th frame, striking out and shutting out Daria Payo. It was just a great night of bowling. So Missy is on the throne as the Empress for now, and she's joined by our Kimberly Kressler. Ready to go, and you are the Empress for the first time, and it is ladies' night once again, so describe this moment for me. Thank you. Here are the odds to win, provided by Fox Bet. With Johnson, a heavy favorite. Minus 250 in our contenders match. From Niagara Falls, New York, she bowls out of AMF Airport Lanes in Chicago. With 25 career titles, including 10 majors. That's right, 10. She's often referred to as the GOAT on the PWBA Tour. GOAT, greatest of all time. For her 25th career title, which came in Lincoln this year, she beat fellow Hall of Famer. Another great bowler we saw on our shows here in Portland, Kelly Kulik, 238. 213 in the final. Also bowled a 300 game against Gigi Mason en route to the crowd. That starts tonight. What a strike on the left lane. Shocker. The legend is locked in early. From Palm Harbor, Florida, she rolls out of countryside lanes in Clearwater. Ashley Galante. Ashley making her television in Bayside debut. How she handles the pressure in this Bopo environment will determine her fate. Great collegiate career. National champ at Weber International. 
and at Pikeville. Two stops, two titles. She'll have her hands full tight against the Hall of Famer. Ashley's evening begins, right lane. Coming in high, 3 6 10. Well, I'll tell you what, she's never experienced anything like this. Liz Johnson has. Liz Johnson bowled for the Lumberjacks in 2016 and 17. She's been here before. She knows this environment, not to mention the fact that, well, she's won 25 times. Just 25. A lot of fan support for Ashley tonight. For all the bowlers here at Bopo. A lot of her time is spent coaching now. Certified junior coach in Florida. 3 nicely done. Right, I would Ashley. imagine that's got to feel pretty good. Get that first mark, right? Well, I was just going to say, all right, Ashley, you can breathe now. Woo. Deep breaths. Arsh Arsenal for Ashley tonight. As the reigning empress has a very close view. Missy's right on that left wing. Daria took notes last night on the throne. Great run for her. Won three times. Four pin. That was a better shot. That was a different ball she used on the left lane. She told us this week her year has been a bit shaky. But success breeds confidence. So on this show, early success could really bring some confidence up. There's a fourth hand. Now, Rand, as Asa reminded us yesterday, we called her match on TV in Orlando Junior Gold way, way back. We're talking 2006. Wow. Do Dave, you remember? No, yeah, Dave, I don't remember last week, <laughs> let alone 2006. So she does have a little TV experience. Arsenal for Liz. Plus the national championship, so she's seen the bright lights before. Liz makes a living out of the bright lights with shots like that. Well, Liz Johnson's going to play this pattern, this 42-foot Mark Roth pattern. He's going to, she's going to play pretty straight uh, because that's what she does, and nobody does it better. Ashley Galate, Galate, uh, Galate's got a little bit more hand. She's going to circle the ball just a little bit more. Liz told us this week she still loves the game as much as ever at 47 years old. She said, I still feel like a spring chicken. I'm fine physically, emotionally, and clearly the game is in gear. Well, and you, you literally can't start off any better. And that's exactly what you do to an opponent that's not used to this type of environment. You get on him, and you get on him early. First three for Legend Liz. 2015, 2016, 2017, PWBA Player of the Year. She'd like to take over the throne as Empress from Missy. Taking a lot of time. I wonder if it's nerves. It's got to be. It's got to be. That's way right. Got to hurry. Not going to hurry. Yeah. One, two, eight, ten. She completely lost it off of her hand at the bottom of the swing, and you can see right here that number. And those great stats brought to you by Strike Track, powered by Kia. And here it comes late, leaving the one, two, eight, ten. going to try to get the ball over here and then cut that head pin into the 10. C 
See if she can cover the washout. No. Oh, it's an open frame. And Liz with a perfect start takes a big lead on the bench of 38 pins. Well, I've been in this situation before. Early in my career, you know, making a first or second telecast and things not going well. well let me tell you what the first thing that happens. The temperature in the building goes up like 20 degrees immediately. It starts to get really hot, start to sweat. Breathing becomes near impossible. Let's see how she responds to the open. Nicely done. Left lane. There you go. Mows them down. By the way, that show way back when was the Teen Masters we did. And Ashley brought it up because she wants to be a broadcaster. And was pretty pumped to meet us back in the day and be on TV in Orlando. Pretty pumped with that shot. Hall of Famer trying for the front four. And a 48-pin lead. Chant, they'll hear you. They'll, they'll follow you here at they, Bayside. They, they can't hear me. <laughs> it's it's way too loud in here. Right-hander's best friend right here when the ball goes a little bit high. And look at that. Trip 4-7 right out of there. That's right. Trip the four for the front four. And a 48-pin advantage. The three-time PWBA Player of the Year. What a career. USPC Hall of Fame inductee in 2015. 11 years on Team USA. She's the GOAT. Oh. Strike streak comes to an end. Seven pin stands. The shot looked pretty good. It just kind of hydroplaned a bit longer than Liz would have liked and comes in just a pinch light, but only the seven pin. The spare should maintain. A 47 pin lead. There you go. That's a seven. What makes Liz so good and so impressive is not her style. It, it's it's that thing that those glasses are sitting on. Mama. She is Hi, Dad. she's a killer. She's got a killer mentality. She's not afraid of anything. And hasn't been for 25 years. Some good showings on the PWBA tour this year for Ashley. Fifth frame needs it. Yes. Nice. There we go. There you go, Ashley. Got a nice little game. Shoulder high backswing, decent hand. Kind of rips through it a little bit harder than I'd like to see. Nice rotation on the ball. Recently engaged. Congrats to Ashley and her fiance. experience this crowd is rocking Liz Johnson Randy's off to a great start she's only missed once in five frames Let's see what she has when we return PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by the K5 from Kia. Movement that inspires. And we are back at Bay 
Northside Bowl and the folks up on the rooftop bar enjoying some nice refreshments and of course the wonderful taco truck mm. and I know I saw Missy up there uh, a little bit earlier today. Missy, uh, what, what type of intel are you gaining watching uh, this matchup halfway through? Thanks, Missy. It's a good thing that we, we can partially read lips because we can barely eat. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the time, Missy. Thanks for that. Are you buying me tacos later? Uh, I am. I it's your first time here. First time here. I think it's only Thank right you. that if I treat you to uh, tacos. Uh, wait, what's today? Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Oh, no. Taco Tuesday was yesterday. Oh, darn. Sorry, All right. Guess I'm buying. Here's Liz. Big lead. Six frame. Works on a spare. Out of the break. Is that the five? What? Arms are up here. Everybody's got their arms up. Arms up. Dave, why don't you explain why? why you do it. You're the analyst. No, I don't know why. It's like it's like a new you gotta thing. You got to pick it up. It's not a new thing. All right, but why do they put their hands up? Well, they're saying we want beer, but you got to do it for the five pin. So now I think that if you miss the five pin, you have to buy everybody who has their hand up a beer. Every, I've got my hand up. Do you have yours up? No. Everyone in the booth does. Daria does. She's behind us watching. All right. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Daria Payunk has joined us in the booth. She's sitting back behind us watching. Check out the action. Checking Great out. Great bowling last night. Great bowling. Checking out the booth action and the action down on the lanes. You know, we always have something cooking in the booth. You always. Know that. Right? Well, Liz Johnson knows about breaking glass ceilings. First woman ever to qualify for a PBA Finals. 05 banquet open. Randy, you and I call that in Western Michigan. Yep. First woman to win a PBA regional title in 05, the East Region, and then the second woman ever to win a PBA title, 2017 World Series of Bowling. Saw Kelly Kulik last night. We're seeing Liz tonight, and she is on her game. You see that ball speed at 19.3. She may not hook it a lot, but she can sure bring the heat. She has not missed the pocket in seven shots. Ashley. Oh, soft 10. Yeah, flat 10 there. Pretty good numbers, though. That was a pretty good shot there that had a chance to strike him. But again, you see that ball speed at 16.3. You got to think that maybe a couple more miles an hour and she has a shot at maybe kicking that 10 out. No. You can, oh, yeah, go for it. Or try it. On the PBA oh. Tour, it's almost a sure thing, but unfortunately for Ashley, she whiffs on the 10 pin. Another open frame. That's big trouble against Liz Johnson. Saturday on Fox. Arnado and the Cardinals take on Acuna Jr. and the Braves. So the White Sox battle the Astros or Reds Padres. It all starts at 7 Eastern on Fox. Now the Fox Sports app. Check local listings for the game in your area. MLB on the way. Here it's PBA and PWBA combining. First down a bit. Galante left lane. Fans love it. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be too little too late because uh, Liz Johnson is not going to give her any breathing room at all. Her max score now, 219. Liz Johnson, you can see it right there, can shoot 268. Liz has 25 titles. We told you she's in the Hall of Fame. Keep in mind, she's been through two shutdowns on the women's tour. In 03, the long shutdown, and then last year, of course, due to COVID. Yet she is still... A genius on the lanes, looking for help. Not this time on the 10 pin. One reason, she walks 10 miles a day, Randy, on the treadmill with the incline at 15. So that's like climbing a mountain. I can't do that on the treadmill. No yeah. way. Yeah, it's something. One or two.
Try to keep it going, Randy, at 47 years old. It's awesome. Yeah, it's something that's foreign to me. I, I <laughs> have no idea uh, how somebody can even do that. But <laughs> You're working out again. Yeah, You're looking I, good, man. Come yeah, on. I, I, I have yeah, started working out absolutely. again. Uh, this morning I did elbows. <laughs> um, <laughs> probably work ankles tomorrow. You know, i, I got to make sure I don't overdo it. Pace yourself, buddy. Pace yourself. That looks good. That is good. Yeah, all she has to do now is mark in the 10th frame, and it's over. And that's only if Ashley Galante strikes out. Liz Johnson is a beast. Make no mistake about it. She has not missed the pocket. She'll have the seven pin, that shaker five, and then that 10 pin in the eighth. Everything else is strikes. Ten pin for Ashley here. Wrapping up her night. First ever experience at Bayside. Great collegiate career we told you about. The 2016 Fayetteville South Open regional title. Really solid junior bowling career too. There's a 10 pin. Won't miss it this time. So uh, imagine you qualify for the US Open in golf. You've never played in a professional tournament on that stage. And your playing partner is Tiger Woods. And you tried to get it airborne off the first tee. Yeah. The nerves. That's how Ashley felt when this started. The nerves. The fans are back. The bowlers are high-fiving fans again. Thank goodness. Awesome to see the interaction. Feels like a real sport again, yeah, doesn't man. it? Man. What a relief. Long time since we've had fans at any PBA event. 16 months. We're back to the U.S. Open in Lincoln in 2020. Oh, 4-9. It is over. Some great numbers, some great stats on Strike Track, powered by Kia. Also, we want to thank our friends, our good friends at Lane Talk. You want to improve your bowling? You want to become a better bowler? Bowl more tournaments without ever leaving your home center? Visit LaneTalk.com. Love it. Well, Ashley told us this week, gonna miss that one. When we asked her on the Zoom about facing Liz Johnson, well, some might say, I don't wanna do it. She did. She really was excited about the challenge, but the legend too much for Ashley Galante tonight. Hey, look here, if, if I was bowling this event and they said, Randy, you're gonna have to bowl Liz Johnson in the first match, I would've said, no. Missy Parkin, the reigning empress, awaits on her royal throne. Her Highness. Liz Johnson, Hall of Fame legend, rolls over Ashley Galante in the first match. And Missy Parkin awaits as the empress. It was fabulous last night, picking up that big split in the fifth. Beat Dari Payoke. It was a great match. Messi was too much. A reminder coming up next at 9 Eastern, the PBA King of the Lanes Empress Edition. Presented by Paps Blue Ribbon continues as contenders Stephanie Johnson and Verity Crawley. Champs on the PWBA Tour face off to meet the Empress of this show. 248, 187. Liz Johnson, the Hall of Famer, nine strikes en route to an easy win. Randy, impressive for the legend. Yeah, really impressive. Every ball in the pocket. I mean, that game could have been huge. Carried a nice trip four right there. And just kept acing it and hit the pocket.
Back to Kimberly Pressler. Thanks, Dave. Liz, congratulations on advancing, but how in the world did you concentrate with this epic crowd behind you? I just got up and did what I normally do, just try to focus on the pins, focus on making good shots and staying down. Uh, I think the, the crowd actually gave me a little bit of energy and a little incentive to, to make better shots in a way. So uh, you, just folk, you, you get that energy and you, and you go for it. Well, you're only one of two ladies that have actually been here during the PBA League. So did you pull from that experience? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I had a feeling or an idea how the, the crowd was going to be. It's just it's like no other crowd we've ever experienced before. And it's, it's just a lot of excitement. I knew you're just going to enjoy yourself. And how are the lanes transitioning? Um, so far, I, I feel pretty good. And I uh, just got to make the good shots. And uh, I, I think I made a good uh, ball change on the right lane. And um, just got to make the shots. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Kimberly Liz, thanks so much for that. Here are the odds to win provided by Fox Bet. The legend at minus 150 is the favorite. Missy, the reigning empress, plus 120. Heading into our match here to see who has the crown for the championship show tonight. Stay with us. Look at this crowd. Listen to this crowd. Ready for Missy Park and Liz Johnson. The reigning empress tries to retain the royal throne, the scepter, and the royal robe. Won't be easy against the Hall of Famer. She sits atop the throne for now. Liz Johnson mowed him down in her win over Ashley Galante. 248. Best score we've had so far. On our Empress shows. 10 pin. Yeah, it looked like she kind of spun that one just a hair, Dave, and it was a little soft coming into the pocket, but that might be the only thing that stops. Liz Johnson tonight. She's going to be a handful for Missy. Got her 10 pin, no problem. Behold our reigning empress from Laguna Hills, California. Rolling out of AMF, Carter Leeds in Fullerton. Missy has one major title to her credit. She also is the first woman to ever win three PBA regional events. And to keep herself busy, her and her husband Drew, well, they own 12 pro shops and just require, acquired a new bowling center in the San Diego area. Major players in the sport of bowling in Southern California and nationwide, to be sure. Missy starts tonight. Oh, a tap on a 10. Somehow didn't go down. Pretty good shot. Bringing a 10 pin. A nudge, but not enough. A 10 pin. Third show last night, beat Diana Zavialova, 207-152, and then Daria Payo, 209-193 to become the Empress. There is Missy's arsenal here tonight. Left lane. Four pin. I think both these players are going to kind of be mirroring one another in terms of where they're playing the lanes. Missy might be just a couple of boards inside of Liz Johnson, but uh, they're, they're going to attack this 42-foot Mark Roth old pattern fairly straight.
You celebrate everything here at Bayside. Four pin, single pin spare conversion. And everyone rocking again here, just like last night. What an atmosphere. Liz Johnson going with a different ball in this match on that right lane. Uh-oh. Oh, almost a big four. Four, six, seven, up. Yeah, well, might as well be a big four. Yeah, just as hard. Well, this one she got a little bit right. Remember, this is the ball change. After shooting 248 the last game, she changes balls on that right lane. Gets it a little bit wide and it hooks and goes through the nose. Six dance, open frame, door open now in this one game match for Missy Parkin. 13 pin lead on the bench. Normally the bench, you say that. On the throw. Will Liz respond? Just fine, thank you. Uh, to answer your question, which was, how will Liz respond? Like a champion. This could be a fantastic finish. Queens in Syracuse for her. Lone title, a major. Third frame. Works on a spare. Those pins had no chance. None whatsoever. Want to watch all the PBA classics? Step up to date. We'll get to that in a moment. Now we've got it. Here we go. Do you want to watch all the PBA Classics? Stay up to date on PBA exclusive content and tournament highlights. Head to PBA.com to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Catch up on all the PBA action. Head to PBA.com today. Four frame for a 23-pin lead. Yeah. Ten in the pit. The shrapnel remains. Well, that's how you take advantage of an opening given to you by your opponent. You, you double up on him. It's exactly what Missy did, flushing back-to-back -back shots. High backswing. She worked on her ball roll to try to get it to tumble. A little more end over end. Roll looks good. Result is good. Right lane for Liz. Oh, a lot better. Nice shot there, and with another one, she can cut the deficit to three. Knocked off. Fellow Hall of Famer Kelly Kewitt, who talked about in the championship match in Lincoln for her historic 25th career title. Looks for the turkey. Has it. Number seven, Timber. And her response to the Empress, you sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> Back to a three-pin match. Missy wants a turkey of her own. Left, left. That's high. Yep. Three, six. Yep, left the whole way. See the numbers right there. Nice break, go, only leaving the three, six, but uh, with a spare here, it's a one-pin match. You never want it open for him. But at least for Liz, it was early. Yeah. 
Big spare attempt here. Can't cover. Chopped. And an open frame script flipped. Chops the three right back off the six. And that couldn't have happened at a worse time. Liz Johnson takes the lead. How quickly things can turn, huh, Dave? The Johnson Express is just getting cooking now with her turkey. Left lane, Missy. Nice shot. Three, six, ten, up. Just face this on the other lane. Over three, six. Uh, uh, strike track powered by Kia actually said those numbers look pretty good. And I thought that was a pretty good shot. And it just overhooked. Three, six, ten. Missy really needs this one. Oh, no. Back to back whip spares. Wow. The wheels, unfortunately, for the reigning empress have come off. And Liz Johnson, working on three in a row, is in great shape to gain the throne, the crown, the scepter, and the robe as the empress more on the way. Back here in Portland, Maine. This place rocking all night long, but trouble for the reigning Empress Randy in the fifth and sixth frames. Back to back opens. Well, it started in the fifth frame when she chopped the three off the six. Missy, generally a pretty good spare shooter, and then comes right back and whiffs the three, six, ten. Missed one left and then missed one right. And now the door's wide open. Liz Johnson. Working on a three-bagger. The fans here in Portland, Maine at Bayside Bowl are only thinking about one thing. They want six in a row. They want to crack open a PBR, a she, Pabst Blue Ribbon. halfway there. This to go up by 32 pants, partner. And a four-bagger out of the break. Yeah! That's four in a row, Nick. And remember, I made the comment about her changing balls on that lane in the first shot she threw in the second frame. She went high and split. Pretty safe to say that I think Liz knows what she's doing, right? No doubt. Had it open in that second frame. Since then, nothing but strikes. This for the nickel. And a 42 pin lead. Does she have five straight? Oh, way in 10 pin. Good shot. Man, was that good. I mean, that was real nice. And once again, we see that, that pin on the right. It's called, uh, it's called, what, what is that called? The 10 pin? No, it's called a stupid 10 pin. <laughs> Why does it stand up like that? Because it's stupid. Take that stupid 10 pin. I hope it hurt. Hope you have a concussion, 10-pin. That was a good shot. Royalty here today. I mean, the fans dress up. It's just awesome. No, he came all the way from England. <laughs> they were taking pictures before the show was thrown. Oh, great. Incredible fan support. Cheering on the reigning empress, Missy Parkin, but she is in danger of losing the throw here. It's not over. You see the max scores there. Right now, Liz Johnson is going at a 215 pace if she was strike spare off the sheet. Missy Parkin can strike out for 224. It's all fun in the stands, but right now on the lanes, it's all business. Cut it to 21. Yes. All right. 
Octopus isn't going anywhere just yet. Great shot, great reaction, left lane, Missy Parker. A good bounce back after those two open frames. And how often do we see it on the men's store where a player opens once or twice missing fairly simple spares? And it goes back to haunt him. Not saying that the 3-6-10 is simple. The 3-6, not all that hard. 3-6-10 gets a little tricky. But missing both. It's almost insurmountable to come back from. Back to back, fifth, sixth frame. But a double to keep things interesting. Then Liz responds the way Liz does in the eighth frame of the strike. Foundation frame time to go up by 31. Chanting Liz Liz. Another one. You will learn my name. You will respect my name. My name is Johnson, otherwise known as the GOAT. She's got my respect, that's for sure. No room for error now for Missy. Cannot miss. Ninth and tenth frame. Needs it. Ball ringing ten pin. Good shot. Ringing ten. Yeah, it was a good shot. Uh, really good shot. And when we look back and she looks back at this match, it's going to come down to not that, but the two missed spares. the 10 pin this time the spare of the game brought to you by guaranteed rate if you believe it you can do it guaranteed rate believe you will well not quite as strong as last night's guaranteed rate spare of the of the game when she made that ginormous split turn the match around against daria <laughs> Funny how things work, though, right? I mean, 3-6, relatively simple. 3-6-10, okay, got to pay it some respect. Wist both, but makes the 3-6-7-9-10 last night, which ultimately got her the win. Flat 10 this time. Fans want it. Oh, nuts. Missed another one. Great showing, though, for Missy. The throw is going to belong to legend Liz Johnson. Great ball, Missy. Awesome to see her on TV here in Portland, Maine. Speaking of awesome, there's a legend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The land now has a new ruler. Her name is Johnson. Legend Liz Johnson, we all bow to your majesty. I mean, Liz Johnson could beat you with a marble. <laughs> She's that good. The winningest player in major championship history on the PWBA Tour. Ten majors. Think about that. going to be tough to beat. High fives all around. This great crowd at Bayside Bowl in Portland, Maine. Rocking again tonight. We have a new empress. It is no longer Missy Parkin. It's the Hall of Famer, Liz Johnson. Take the throne, your highness.
the PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate. Believe you will. And by the K5 from Kia. Movement that inspires. Beautiful scenery. Here in Portland, Maine, beautiful bowling for Liz Johnson. It's the Graps the Crown moment sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon. We have a new empress, Mr. Peterson. Yeah, we sure did. She bowled magnificently. 248 game one, 232 in game two with an open in that second frame. And uh, Liz Johnson, I knew she was going to be a handful, and she proved it. A reminder coming up next here on FS1, the PBA King of the Lanes Empress Edition presented by Pat Blue Ribbon continues the contender Stephanie Johnson and Barry Crawley face off to meet Liz Johnson, the current Empress now for Randy Peterson, Kimberly Preston, and the entire crew. It's Dave Ryan saying so long for now from Bayside Bowl here in Portland, Maine. You've been watching the PBA on FS1. Tremendous action. PWPA Tour Stars. Head to head, Missy Parkin began the night as the reigning empress, but in the end, the Hall of Famer. Legend Liz Johnson reigns supreme as the empress.